Oh, the ice is gradually melting. Unfortunately, I need to go to the laundrette. Always a good day to ride. Safe to say, there is some ice. Fuck it. Had to get out. New tires ordered. Three and a half hundred quid. And some fun in the icy sun. Just got back from going out on my motorbike to do some laundry. And, um, yep, yeah, there's ice on the roads. It's not a big deal. You know, it's... Like minus five last night in Somerset. It's not a big issue if you just have a bit of common sense. I can ride a motorbike at speed, no issues. And yet I come in, put the news on, and they've declared a major incident. A bus fell over. Now the thing is, why I'm doing this little video is that it happened in near Cannington, which is in Somerset. It's basically the works bus for the nuclear power station. And they are vile, evil cunts. These bus drivers, they're not local. They don't know the roads. Most of them don't even speak English. And they just don't give a fuck what side of the road they're on or how fast they go or about anybody that's ever taking them. As far as they're concerned, they're on a time limit to do things, to get them from the car park to the power station and back. They smashed me off the road three times. I'm not going to say what I did in retaliation, but I'm an old-fashioned kind of biker. But they do this on a regular basis. I don't know what happened to the biker involved in this crash last night, but apparently they're saying, oh, it's because of the ice. Right. The buses are always on the wrong side of the road, these, nuclear, these Hinkley Point works buses. Always. They're always going over the speed limit. They're always on the wrong side of the road. And they're always causing accidents. The reason you don't hear about it in the news very much is because it's a multi-billion pound project. So far, the government has paid out a trillion pounds to Hinkley Point over the past 30 years. Why is it getting so much money? Simple. It's an American project. They might not own Hinkley Point, but they're the ones who supply all the nuclear materials. Just like all the other energy around the country, gas, oil, whatever. So nobody gets prosecuted, no matter who gets killed. Unless it's somebody who doesn't work for Hinkley Point. The drivers sure as hell won't get prosecuted, no matter who dies. So the Hinkley Point buses, coaches, yeah, they all need to be put off the road.